Hello and welcome to this edition of The Pulse. I'm Todd Hanley, Director of Marketing and Communications at MIHS. Today we're coming to you from the Comprehensive Health Center, or the CHC, and we're doing it after hours, hence the lack of patience, uh, to sit down with Barbara Harding to talk about what's going on in ambulatory. Barbara, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thanks, Todd, for having me. I, awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to our discussion. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. So tell me, what's going on in ambulatory? There is so much going on yeah. in ambulatory. It's, uh, you know, in terms of healthcare, this is probably the most exciting opportunity that all of us could have. We have the opportunity to design a new model of care. We're going to have new buildings, and it's, it, it's just so exciting. And how does that affect the, the patient population? I think what we're trying to do is, is as we look at our, our model of care, we really want to focus on a, a patient-centered uh, or person-centered model of care. We want to be able to provide comprehensive services that carry a person from birth all through aging into death, and so that we're really there to meet the person and their family wherever they're at at any given time and be able to provide excellence and care for them. So. The specialty services still happening in like our specialty West Valley and, and here, but some of that, that primary care uh, sure. happening at the FQHCs? Right. So um, in our models of care right now and the clinics that we're looking to relocate, we're looking at a, a central standard of care that we're wanting to put in each and every one of our, our ambulatory care uh, clinics. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do is put primary care together with lab and imaging and pharmacy okay. and then at, in some of the clinics we're going to have additional services we might have pediatrics and OBGYN and then sprinkle that a little bit with some other specialties in between so I think uh, as our patients are coming to us today we're going to continue to build upon our one-stop shop if you will mm -hmm. but just enhance it and make, make it more robust. Oh, fantastic. Is there a behavioral health component? Absolutely, and that's a critical component in, uh, across the nation today. We've long recognized that behavioral health is a, a critical uh, health uh, metric for uh, all individuals. All of us uh, reach on the spectrum of behavioral health across the board, and everybody has their own unique needs. To be able to integrate it into primary care allows us to not separate it out, but say it's a part of health as we know it. Right. Awesome. What does the future of ambulatory look like? Well, um, the landscape for healthcare is changing dramatically. Mm -hmm. We have alternative payment models that are being rolled out uh, across the board, whether it's the payers or the state or our federal government. And what we are being charged with is providing improved health care for who, those we serve. So our outcomes must be improved. So for better health at a lower cost, that the services are provided to the person at the right place at the right time with the right provider. So I think that's, that's what's critical. So we're today working on operationalizing greater efficiencies and focusing on processes of care so we can achieve those targets as the payment models change for the future. That's terrific. And what's being done around access to care? We're really focused on that right now. We're really uh, wanting to make sure that any individual who's in our community who doesn't have access to a primary care physician or specialty care physician, we want them to know that we are here for them. We offer a sliding fee scale yeah. for payment of services, so that allows any individual, no matter what their coverage is, to be evaluated and have access to excellent quality care. Great. What else can you tell me about ambulatory? I think that um, our staff are outstanding and all of our staff are focused on taking our care to the next level to really meet the needs of our community and really provide the service that is really needed. We want to empower our patients so that they can truly be able to manage their, their health care. We are looking at social determinants of health right. and how we might intersect with our community so that we can minimize those social determinants of health and so that 
individuals can focus on their total health as we talked about. Right. So are we partnering with uh, local organizations and support services and, and, and the like? We are. Uh, we have uh, many uh, relationships with organizations throughout the community, but we're going to continue to build upon that. And so in some of our new facilities, we're creating spaces that they will be co coming into our environment and working together side by side with our patient population. So extending out and pulling in all services for our, our community. That's exciting. It sounds like there's great things coming up in ambulatory. Awesome things. And some great things coming up for the patients who need those, those facilities. Absolutely. Awesome. Barbara, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Todd.